Oh snap, I'm back. I'm on a roll. I'm on my second, actually my third vlog. And you guys thought I might just drop off. But no, I'm, I'm trying to do this on a weekly basis. So that's why I'm reaching out to you guys to help me with these topic searches. But you know, I woke up this morning and it dawned on me that someone very special to me came to visit. And it only makes sense to do a vlog about her. One of the first jobs that I got legally was being an aquatic specialist, a certified avian specialist, a certified reptile specialist, and a certified animal, small animal specialist at the wonderful world of Petco. And I'm not sure how I feel about that job, even until this day, because a lot of people, when I tell them that I worked at Petco, they get super excited and be like, oh my God, you worked at Petco, you must have played with all the animals. Like, nah, didn't play with no animals, I played with the shit. I do thank Petco for the one person that changed my life for the very good. It taught me how to be a responsible human being, just being very careful and very thoughtful and very patient. So without further ado, let me introduce to you. You ready, girl? Come on, get up. Get up, girl. Get up. Girl, girl. Stop messing. Come on, girl. Uh, stop being a blob. You being a blob right now. Come on, come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Is this girl right here? Her name is Maxine. I love her so much. She is my pride and joy. She knows how to sit. She knows how to stop. She knows how to eat. She knows where to shit properly. And. She knows how to roll over and she knows bang, die, roll over and get your treat afterwards. Rise from the dead. What's my dog's name? So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, her name is Maxine. I post about her almost weekly because that's how much she means to me. And this girl has gained some weight. I'm gonna put her down and tell you guys how I came up with her name. Damn girl. One of my favorite movies is I Am Legend with Will Smith. And if you haven't seen that movie, it's pretty much about Will Smith caught in this post-apocalyptic world. And he's trying to reunite with his family or just trying to figure out what happened to civilization. There's a scene in the movie where Will Smith comes out and calls for his dog. And I'm like, yo, Max, this is, this is it. This is where you got your name. And he calls out, Sam! I was like, excuse me, that did not sound like Max. Turns out that the dog's name was Sam, short for Samantha, because I originally I thought the dog was a boy, thinking that it was Max, but it turns out it was Sam. Then I found out that the dog was a female, so it was short for Samantha. So here I am with the dilemma that my dog is a female, and I named it Max, or I named her Max. So she's a girl, naturally, I called her Maxine, and that's how she got her name. And to be honest, <laughs> That shit's cooler than Sam, whatever. So the second question is, what kind of breed is Maxine? Ugh. I'm gonna hit you like a cannon. If you haven't noticed that she is actually half chow chow and half shepherd. And to know that she's a chow chow, ugh, show your tongue. Anyways, she has a purple tongue. And that's how you know she's a chow chow. Third question, how long have I had Maxine? So I've had Maxine for about eight years now. Damn, yeah, eight years. You get in there, girl. You get in there. But she's a mixed breed, and they say that mixed breeds tend to live longer. So at least you got that on your side, right? In those eight years, she's seen it all. She's seen all the relationships I've been in. She's seen me when I've won. She has seen me when I lost. And she was always there to love me unconditionally. And you know, after a long ass day and you don't want to talk to anybody, no matter who it is, you just want to go home. And you finally get to your door and you open it. Who's there waiting for you, excited, your dog. And they just want to love you unconditionally no matter what's going on, and they always seem to make your day brighter. The next question is, how did you get your pet? I did not adopt Maxine in the traditional sense. Now, this one particular day, I was in the very back of the store, probably avoiding customers, and I heard over the intercom, service 99. That means there's a theft. And so I'm freaking out. I'm like, man, if that robber comes up to me, I'm gonna say, yo dog, whatever kind of dog food, whatever kind of cat food you want, take it i even got some free cricket coupons if you want that just don't don't do anything stupid to me because i'm just trying to get out of here i'm not even trying to move the ladder on this but it turns out my manager called us into the office and told me that she was watching a customer with a puppy inside her cart and she saw this girl steal one of the dog crates and she put the dog crate right underneath maxine at the time, I don't know what her name was. And the girl tried to leave, tried to steal it, and the cops came, took her to the room, the, my manager's room, interrogated her. It turns out that she was actually a little mentally handicapped, 
and she ran away from home from Rancho Cucamonga and they were returning her back to the police station. Now mind you, during this whole time, I'm playing with Maxine in the back room and the cops come and tell us that, hey, we're taking the girl, but we can't do anything with the dog. And it only makes sense for you guys to take him because you're Pecco. Yeah, we are Pecco. So the cops left and here's Maxine. We had the option of either calling the pound to come pick her up or one of us take her and try to find out if she was stolen. At that moment, she looked at me, stuck her tongue out, and I just instantly fell in love with that dog. How old is my pet? My pet. Come on, come on. Ugh. So, my little cannon here. She's about eight years old. I mean, I got her when she was about three, two to three months. Now that she's eight and I've been super busy and I finally got time to hang out with her, I noticed that she has whites around her eyes. She's a little slower, so it's crazy to watch my dog become an old dog, but still have the puppy inside of her, which I love so much. Yes, I know. What are some of the quirky things about my dog? Um, she likes to salivate when she gets super excited, especially when we go to the dog beach. When she sees all the dogs on the shore, she goes ape shit, and people think that my dog has rabies because she's foaming at the mouth, and it's super embarrassing. Yes, it's embarrassing, girl, to see, but I don't care. I just tell the people that, yo, she's just super excited to see your dog. She's not a zombie dog. Just let him play. You're at the dog beach. Let's just be cool about this. But she also likes to double down on her scratches when I'm scratching her nipple in particular. She likes to scratch the back of her leg. <laughs> and anything else, Max? No? Okay. Nothing else. So, I'm gonna put it down because she's heavy as hell. Uh, one of my favorite pastimes with my dog is it was easy for me to go down to the beach and I would take her with me because she would always be excited to leave the house and walk. And so we would go down to the pier at Sill Beach and sit on the bench and just kind of look at the waves. And I really cherish those moments. I remember when she was about one when she was a one-year-old, she would leave the living room, go into my room, go underneath my bed sheets, go and nestle in my arm and wake me up because she got so accustomed to my lifestyle that she knew that by this time I was gone doing my thing. So she was pushing me out the bed and making sure that, you know, I'm supposed to be doing what I'm supposed to be doing at that time. So I thought that was really smart. Last but not least, what does my dog mean to me? She means everything to me, really. She's been my best friend for the past eight years. Always, always been there. You know, she's taught me so much and I can't really put it into words. Dogs see, you know, God in their owner's eyes. And I took that as a big responsibility to be the best pet owner I could be and just being super patient. And she's been awesome to me and I just hope to spend many, many years with her. Ain't that right, Maxine? Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Give me a high five on that. High five. That's what I'm talking about. That's my fuzzy friend tag thing. Let me know what kind of pets you guys have. And I feel like I'm about to cry because this is a very emotional moment. It's very emotional. Share your tongue. Share your tongue. Share your tongue. No, nothing. Oh, you see it? She has a purple tongue. Yeah, that's my baby girl. Anyways, thanks for watching this. I know it's random as hell, but why the hell not? I told you guys. So let me know what you guys think. Share this video. Let me know. Tag me in your videos so I can watch your fuzzy friend questions and learn about you guys. So thank you again. This is Maxine's butt. I'm Khalif Boyd. All right, we gotta go, Max. Hoo!